Everybody knows time is money, so I'm gonna give you two minutes of my time so you can make money. So what is the what if close and how can we use the what if close to increase our sales and close very difficult objections? So let me give you an example. Let's say you're presenting your product, you're, 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 you pitched your client and your client says something like, I gotta ask my wife. All you have to say is, John, I understand, assuming that John is his name, I understand, John, what if she says no? Now, this will shock your client. It will put them out their place in a little bit. They can give you only two answers. One answer would be, well, if she says no, it's a no. The other answer is, well, uh, she would never say no to me if I really want something, if I really like something. Now, your job here is to always be closing. So, if she says, if he says, well, if she says no, then it's a no, all you have to say is, okay, John, I totally understand. What do you think they will say no to, the product or the price? See, now you're going to find out what it is. If they say the product, you have to pitch it again. If, say, if they say the price, then you close them on the price. And if you want to know how to do that before you watch the rest of this video, because I'm going to get really deep, watch this video right here and then come back to this video because there's more to see. Now, if they say, well, Paul, they will not say no to me, then you just continue with a paperwork close or a delivery close because they just admitted that they want the product, right? So they just need that extra little push. And you can do that with either the delivery close or the paperwork close. And I'll link that right here as well. Okay. Thank you. Hope this video helps. Consider subscribing and I will see you in the next video. I'm Paul Democritu. And until next time, keep succeeding.